So here we are, 4th of September 2017. Uh, you never know where I'm standing right now. I'm standing at the entrance to the tunnel called Harry in Starlock Luft 3, famous for the Great Escape during World War II in 1944. And there is the entrance. What we're going to do, we're going to follow the tunnel until it came out. On your left you'll see the guard tower, it's a replica but it is pretty much on the same position as the original guard tower and um, we're basically going to make our own great escape. So follow me, here we are, uh, hmm, Norwegian, Canadian, Australian, yeah, that looks uh, Polish a bit, yeah, there's the Poles, uh, Lithuania, Brits, oh yeah gosh. There's some names here. Let's have a look if there's a Kelso among them. No, I don't think so. Uh, all right. Uh, oh yeah, here he's he's the famous man. This is the famous man. He organised it all, Roger Bushel. He was one of the ones that got shot. Fifty of these guys got shot. Seventy-six made it out. Three actually managed to escape from Nazi-occupied territory. Uh, the other 73 were recaptured and 50 of them were shot as a warning by uh, on the orders of Hitler. So we're just following the length of the tunnel now. You can see how it goes. So there it is. So we are now actually walking along the route that Harry took. I presume that the remnants are underneath my feet right now. There's the guard tower. Dear oh dear. Only they'd look the other way. They were trying to get 200 men out. 200 men. They managed 76 before they got spotted. And on the left, if you remember the film, Steve McQueen sat in the cooler. Well, that apparently is the remnants of the cooler. And over there. Uh, at least that's according to the signpost. Let's have a look what this signpost says. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but oh my god, yeah, you can go in underneath. Right, okay, that looks like it's the hospital. Yeah, hospital. Right, let's go and have a look down here. Oh my god. If I don't survive this, you know where I am. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Uh, my god. Oh, this looks like a bunker of some kind. I ain't going down there. It's a bit dark, a bit wet. Mm. Well, looks pretty original. So there you go. This must have been the hospital. Let's go back out, rejoin the tunnel. There it is. Dear, dear. You don't want to be claustrophobic digging one of these. Apparently the tunnel was nearly 10 meters deep. And the Germans had ringed the perimeter of the camp with acoustic listening devices, so they were trying to find out if there was tunnelling going on. But uh, Harry was not discovered until 76 of them got out uh, in what's termed the Great Escape and uh, had a tragic end. Here we are, there's the, uh, the replica watchtower. Apparently the original position is over here. This was the original position. So it is now there, but it's here. That was the original position. And here we are, coming up at old Harry again, continuing on across the road, the dirt track, and there it ends. This is the point where they all emerged at night on the 24th to the 25th of March 1944 and there's the exit and I guess that is the forest they would have vanished into yeah, it must have been uh, wow I guess these trees are new but it must have looked a bit similar to 1944 wow and there you go so now you look back I reckon I must have walked at least nearly a hundred meters along old tunnel. Right. 
Uh, Polish. Uh, uh, Stala Kuh Luft Free. And there is some more information. Tunnel Harry. Oh gosh, look. That's the Germans actually finding it afterwards. And, yeah. Wow. Alright, we're going to have a look, see if we can see Tom and Dick. Maybe even George.